What's up guys, my name is Kerr. In this video today, we're going to go over how to record game chat, party chat. There's my hand. Your voice, game sounds, any, time, any kind of sound when you play Xbox One. Now, I'm gonna show you how to hook it up, how to hook it up to your PC, how to hook it up to your Xbox. I'm also gonna show you in OBS and in Elgato how to set it up so that you record it properly. Uh, I might go too fast, I might go too slow, but uh, it's up to you guys to figure it out. I'm going to give you the information here. There's not much more I can do after this. So, um, what you're gonna need is your controller, your little adapter. This is optional, it's um, just an extension. It's a four pole male which is gonna plug into there and then it's um, I believe it's a four pole I have the link in the video it doesn't matter you're gonna need the Astro splitter it's a four pole and it's powered you're gonna need uh, some triple-a batteries they last pretty long which is nice but uh, when I say four pole I'm talking about uh, four sections on the pole Nice zoom in. Um, and then you're gonna need a headset, obviously, to play the video game. Now, I use Astros. As you can tell, this is four pole. So any headset with a four pole will work. Okay? So we got that base covered. The only thing left we need is to the PC. That's a three pole. It can be any kind. It's three and a half millimeters. This is all three and a half millimeters. Three pole on both sides and uh, it's gonna go to your PC from the splitter so let's hook up everything I'm gonna do this one-handed I'm going to try this out I'm a righty left hand was not working too well so you plug that sucker in then let's go ahead and uh, on this part right here We have a splitter. There you go. So we have headset adapter, the extension to the splitter. Put the batteries in. One side of the splitter is going to have uh, your headset. Get in the hole. Get in the um, and then uh, this other side for three pole it's gonna go into the other side of that splitter and for educational purposes I've tilted my PC up uh, to show you where I connect it so on the back of my PC I have six ports um, the ones that you're interested in are going to be either the bottom left or bottom right. Bottom left is mic, bottom right is line in. Not line out, but in. So we use line in. We plug it in, and now everything's hooked up. See, normally, uh, if you're playing Xbox One, you would hook up the headset adapter, the stereo headset adapter to your headset wire. So all we're doing is we're putting in the splitter so it's coming out to this it's coming out to the splitter one side's going to the headset adapter and one side's going to your PC. Now this is powered with a battery so sounds are going to be better they're going to be louder and uh, you're going to be able to record with it so that's how you hook it up. Now let's check it out on the computer. Okay, so on this screen we have Elgato software. As you can tell, the Elgato is recording the Xbox stuff. Um, look right here, game audio. This is your the volume your Elgato is recording. So we're going to mute that. Completely. Now your live commentary 
is how everything's going to be recorded. So we have options here. Like I told you before, we're choosing line in, and that's how we're going to record. If you're streaming or recording and you're noticing a lag or delay, this isn't a problem with what I'm showing you. It's a problem with your how your computer reacts with Elgato. Um, it'll it'll capture the the, the Elgato a split second slower in my uh, damn taco. As a result, you'll see a delay. So in OBS, you're going to want to go ahead and click on audio. And for microphone auxiliary devices, this is usually where the live commentary is. You're going to choose line in for your microphone live commentary. And uh, the desktop audio device is not something you should be concerned about. It's really if you're going to have music or you're playing a game on the PC. This has nothing to do with Xbox One. Anyway, the, the mic off sync set delay is between 1400 and 1600 milliseconds. It's uh, going to fix that off sync issue with the video and audio sync. That's, that's really what it is. I choose a mic and uh, desktop boost of two. That's a personal preference. In order to add the Elgato, you're going to choose add video capture device. And it's going to pull up your Elgato Capture HD. Now, in order to mute your Elgato, all you do is just turn the volume all the way down there and click OK. So, that's how you do it in OBS. I hope this is helpful for some of you. Um, I know some of you still may have questions, but this is something where you've already been messing around with, uh, with recording and live streaming, and you're trying to get uh, the next step up. This isn't like a tell-all detail, how to do it from scratch, how to set it up. If your computer doesn't have line in, I apologize. You're gonna use the mic input. They're relatively the same thing. I don't know how to do it with the mic input. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Hopefully, you find success with this. Anyways, my name is Kerr, and I'll see you later.